Hello there, Quicksilver Slash here with World of Tanks replay for you today. And today I am joined by Flying Goomba, who is driving his BTSV, and I am as well. This tank is an absolute riot. It typically goes on sale every winter as part of a hundred dollar package. You get a hundred dollars in gold and this rare tank. And unlike some of the other rare two tier three tanks, um, this one is not completely overpowered. Its turret armor is not that thick and can be penetrated. And if you get its sloped armor, despite it being trolly to those auto cannons, it can be penetrated if you get it square on. This tank really is the epitome of diamond up. So you can see me racing ahead. My goal was to get to the top of the hill the quickest, take it. I shoot that tier two and then ram him and that T2 medium crest the ridge, taking away my most of my health as I'm waiting for Goomba to catch up. So at this point, we agree, he's going over the hill first, and I'm going to follow up. He rolls up to see what's there, backs up, gets some speed going, and from here on out, hits balls to the walls, pedal to the metal, no stopping. He auto locks, gets some good shots in, and then he closes in on the arty. He misses the ram, unfortunately, but gets right beside him. That already doesn't stand a chance. Pulls out, finishes off the other one right as I die. That T2 having pulled out, finishing me off with that auto cannon, which is a little odd. A lot of times I see the T2 run the uh, other gun that it comes with. Luckily for me, Goomba is not yet done. He rolls out. It's a quick round into that T2. Sees this T127. Goes for him, but once again, the the real secret to driving the BTSV is to never stop. Use that superior mobility and just flank enemies. And <laughs> look at that amazing handbrake turn. That looked pretty awesome. This thing has some pretty terrible handling. That's kind of one of its uh, balancing effects. But Goomba is making the most of that handbrake. Uh, behaving a little drunkenly there, driving into a wall, but... You can see those auto cannon rounds just bounce off when they don't have a chance to aim at your side. Puts a couple good shots into the PZ-1C and then goes on. I think at first he was expecting someone to be waiting around the corner for him. But you can see everyone's spotted off on the far side of the map. And unlike a lot of heavy tanks where you might get caught not really being able to participate. In this thing, you really can. It doesn't matter if it's on the opposite corner of the map. You can get there before it dies. So with just that enemy Vespa left, he goes after it. No regrets. Puts one into him. Finishing him off. And that's the end of the game. As you can see, Mastery made 19,000 credits, 2,500 experience. He got Pascucci's medal. And these tanks are just so much fun to drive. Uh, all you do is hold down that W key. Most times you're auto-locking on things, and you just zoom around the map laughing and having fun. The biggest reason I love having it is just to de-stress after some crappy high tier games. Just go get in this. You don't really care if you win or lose. You're going to have a laugh anyways. You saw me in this one just ram full speed into a tier 2. I actually have a spalling liner on the thing just so I can survive a little better. I'm sorry for the shorter than normal video today, but I had a lot going on. Someone had tried to break into my car, so I was getting that all fixed up. And I'm planning to move, so a lot's going to change, and I'm going to keep trying to get a video out every day. I'll have another World of Warships one tomorrow. I'm actually going to be doing a full review of the War Spites since so many people seem to love the game I posted of her. I had another amazing game and I think it's going to frame a review perfectly. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. I would love if you'd subscribe. Either would help the channel out and I'll have another video tomorrow.